Okay, what's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in here to the Unbiased Sports Network YouTube channel. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for subscribing if you haven't already. Would appreciate it if you did. If you can give this video a thumbs up, would appreciate that too. As we continue to build this channel, a little bit more long form uh, news updates uh, as opposed to the Gridiron Media channel. I will be coming out with a baseball channel soon as the baseball season uh, gets closer. So, uh, stay on the lookout for that. Now, let's get into some Giants news. So, the Giants yesterday, I'll actually, let's start with the standings. So, the Giants lost big yesterday. It was a, it was definitely a tough game uh, defensively, offensively, everything, special teams. It was just a, it was, it was a big mess. And uh, so, here's where the Giants currently stand in the playoff picture. We know that they do play Washington this upcoming week, Sunday night. They both have the same records. Washington doing a little bit better in the division than the Giants right now. Giants 0-3-1 in the division, but Seattle lost yesterday to Carolina, which was a huge loss for Seattle. We know that Seattle beat the Giants earlier this season, but right now the Giants, they have a slight advantage over Seattle <clears throat> in the loss column. So this is where the Giants stand. They actually hold a playoff spot at the moment. And so, obviously, this game on Sunday against Washington is going to be ginormous in terms of the Giants potentially making the postseason. And so, keep on the lookout. Uh, as 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 we move forward, these standings are going to be very, very close, and I'm sure you will be on the lookout. Uh, and it would be big for a first-year head coach, even though the end of the season hasn't gone exactly the way that they've wanted, to get, wanted it to go in the second half it still would be a huge accomplishment, especially for this team that a lot of people didn't expect them to be even in the race at this point. For them to potentially make the playoffs would be uh, a big step for a rookie head coach and Brian Dable and his staff and his team in general. So let's talk about Saquon Barkley. We know that he had, he was kind of like 50-50 going into yesterday's game. People didn't really know exactly if he would, he would play. He did, but he has a, a neck injury. And then towards the end of the game, they kind of kept him on the sidelines a little bit. You saw a little bit more Gary Brightwell this week as well. But Barkley said after the game, no doubt he will be ready for Washington. So that's just kind of an update on Barkley. We'll continue to update as the week goes on. But at the moment, Barkley expected to play this week. Um, he played against Philadelphia, but a little bit more in, in a limited capacity. But expect him to play this week against Washington. Um, this is just some kind of post-game notes. A lot of people talking about the Giants' locker room after yesterday's loss. Big game against Washington, very obvious. Both have the same records, both vying for a, a wild card playoff spot. Talk is cheap, right? Nobody cares. You have to go out and you have to perform. And so, nice quote. I'm sure he's pumped up. I'm sure the rest of the team will be pumped up. But at the end of the day, none of that matters. They have to go out and they have to perform. Same thing with Washington. None of these quotes mean anything. And uh, I think that that's how you should kind of look at them. They're just words. We'll move on to uh, the final topic here. Right now, according to 538, Commanders 73% chance to make the playoffs. Giants at 44%. Now, if the Giants win on Sunday against the Commanders, that jumps, that switches dramatically in the Giants' favor. If Washington wins, that just continues to almost uh, stamp their, their playoff uh, destiny. Uh, if they win, that, that's huge for them in terms of uh, the percentages in the Giants. It starts to fall dramatically and, and, and it wouldn't look too good. 